DevOps is all about releasing one project uh, into server and uh, in the end uh, it might be one website it might be one API project or it might be even one mobile application or uh, some kind of desktop application the process of staging that application uh, testing it in the server uh, and releasing it uh, to the end user this entire process uh, has lots of DevOps element attached to it so just think of DevOps as uh, in very simple way that you are going to release one project that's how devops works you don't have to code it somebody already coded it you just need to make sure it works properly in your local laptop then you will be releasing it to the wherever the place it has to be released and you need to make sure that developers will be able to easily update whenever they want to update it and of course testing comes importantly maybe beta testing or maybe like a public testing or something like that but either way this is how devops works now the question is is it good idea for non-it personals to join a devops or even coding so the thing is of course any non-it person can join this particular it field but the thing is is it good idea for them to join coding or join devops the thing with development or coding is you need to learn it properly once you learn it properly you will start building some small things then eventually you will start building bigger things this is how the development phase works so the thing is in order to learn the basics of programming it's going to take one or two months after that in order to build few projects Project, it might take another one month or two months and eventually in order to build a proper project it might take a three to six months anywhere in between if you work hard every single day now the thing is whenever one non-it person is trying to pivot into coding field that time they won't be having much time to pivot like they might be not interested in their existing job or they might be trying to make sure that they want to quickly move into it field as possible so because of this trying to devops like it's better way to get started because in devops you don't have to learn much of the concept in order to just get started it's all about releasing one project from like local host to one cloud server which is in production level environment this is how simple devops project works and i think it's easier for one non-it professionals to join this particular field first before getting into coding now you might be wondering how can i get started with the devops getting started in devops is not that much hard it's not like you have to go there and read some devops book uh, in order to make sure you are getting into devops because if you try to read those books most of the time it will be like uh, having like lots of architecture this that and all the other jargons which is like very complex even for it people to look at it and like uh, to learn it instead you just think about releasing one project on your local computer use existing project ask your developer friend uh, to give one simple project and uh, try to release it by you your own in your local computer once you release it you can test it out once you tested in local server try to move it into cloud maybe netlify maybe vercel or lots of these platforms are available and once you are like familiar with the, all these things you can even try to release it in a gcp that is google cloud platform or even aws once you release all these things try to implement git and github in it and try to release the project using git and github it's possible there are lots of tutorials out there where you can learn how to use git and github and uh, how you can uh, release your project using this it's not like rocket science or you don't have to like learn uh, coding for days and days or even months uh, in order to make sure this will happen this is devops and you'll be able to easily find the tutorial online and you can even test it in uh, your own local computer immediately it's not like you have to wait uh, for development to get over or anything like that that's why getting started with devops is easier and that's why i I had made first point saying uh, it's easier for uh, non-IT professionals to get started with the DevOps uh, rather uh, getting started in coding. Now you might be like, okay, releasing website is like so much boring. You don't have to release website itself. You can take somebody else Android app and uh, you can try to build it using Android Studio in your own laptop. Try to do the signing uh, and make everything ready. There is like documentation in uh, Google's uh, Android page only. So you don't have to worry much about uh, how do you sign the 
APK and uh, do all those amazing things. And once you do that, go to Google Play developers uh, account and uh, pay $25 or something like that. Or if you are already trying to join uh, DevOps, this thing, you can ask uh, somebody to give you access to their account uh, so that you can release your test application. Once you do that, uh, try to release your application there. However, in Google Play console, uh, there will be already DevOps staging and all set it up. Uh, try to release it for beta and uh, internal uh, version uh, and even external version and even in the end, uh, product production level version once you release it that's also part of devops only now you became devops engineer and uh, actually becoming devops engineer might have like lots of uh, other concept to learn but uh, you know how to release one application and this is all one one software company might uh, want from you because most of the software company has uh, development where developers come and code but uh, they don't know how to release or they don't have time to release it because they are, they are developer now your devops role comes into play and uh, you can go ahead and you can release whatever the website or even mobile app and that's also part of devops only i'm wishing you luck to get started with the devops journey if you want to know why devops is amazing here is one video regarding it and uh, watch it see you in the next video bye bye